Switch Station 32 back for another video. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, if you leave a like and a subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. We're going to go over the PlayStation Showcase that happened yesterday. I was really excited for it. I couldn't wait for it to uh, come to see the future of PlayStation, and they didn't disappoint. The first one they went over, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake. Now, they didn't show much, just a little bit of the story. They showed that it's going to be a remake. For anybody that's a fan of the original game, some of the directors from that game are going to be working on this with the new with the people that are making it now. So that's a good thing. And uh, I can't wait for that game to come out. That game looks awesome. Hopefully it lives up to the hype because I love Star Wars games and I think that game's going to be good. Now Project Eve. Now this game looks awesome. It reminded me of like Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, something like that. And they went over a lot of gameplay and uh, the boss fights and stuff, some of the dismemberments and slicing off half of the guy's head. And it just looked amazing. I can't wait to play that game. And that, that game looks awesome. Just the way that that game functions, it looks amazing. And I love Devil May Cry, so I, I, I think I'm really going to like that game. And then they went over Tiny Tina's Wonderland. And it's a Borderlands spin-off. It's like a comedy version of the Borderlands game. Even more comedy though it's already in them. And, um, and it has like mythical like magic and that kind of stuff in it. And I'm pretty sure the girl that does Louise from Bob's Burgers is uh, one of the main voices in it. So if you're a Bob's Burger fan, you'll probably be excited for her too. And the art style of that game looks really cool. I like it even a little bit better than the Borderlands one. Spoken. Forspoken is a game I'm really excited for. It's a next. It's a new Square Enix game. Uh, it's an open world. Looks like a kind of an open world. You traverse through the land. There's dragons. You fight dragons and stuff. And uh, you're from this world, but you go back in time to a medieval time. And uh, I just can't wait for play that game. That game looks better every time I see it. The Alan Wake remake. I'm excited for that too. I like uh, murder mystery horror games and uh, I'm really excited to play that. I can't wait to try that one too. Then they went over Grand Theft Auto 5 and uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 I never really got into it. I'm not a huge Grand Theft Auto fan. I played like Grand Theft Auto 3 and San Andreas but after that I kind of left the franchise. And uh, I'm going to try to get back into it with the PS5 version of Grand Theft Auto 5. It's uh, in the remastered it looks good, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. And that's coming out March 2022, so it's not coming out this year. Another game that looked really good for me, and they showed a lot more gameplay for it, was Ghostwire Tokyo. And Ghostwire Tokyo, to me, looks phenomenal. I can't wait to try Ghostwire Tokyo. It's, it's a little different than what most people are expecting, and uh, I like that. They showed Marvel's Gardens of the Galaxy again. And we already seen quite a bit of that. I find this trailer made it look a little bit better than the original trailer. And it shows a little humor to it. But we already seen it. Vampire Blood Hunt. That game looks interesting to me too. Uh, the gameplay for that game looked really good. I like I like, uh, I like uh, games like that. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see. To get a little bit more gameplay of it. But uh, I'm probably going to pick that one up too. Deathloop. They showed again. We've seen a we've seen a death loop a thousand times. So we didn't need to see death loop again, but I understand why. It's the next game coming out. It's one of their big games that's coming out next. They so got to show it. Now the Uncharted remastered the PS5 and PC. It's uh, we're well, gonna have to wait and see how much of a remaster it really is before we go out and buy it. Because you can already get PS you already get Uncharted 4 for the PS5 for free. Most people already have it. The Lost Legacy. But if it's a big step up, maybe have a little bit of DLC, maybe hit a new side quest, a little bit of extra story, maybe it'll be really good. But I'm thinking it's just going to be remastered. It's probably going to be 4K60, but we'll see. And then they got into the big guns. They show Gran Turismo 7 and some gameplay and uh, the, the hub world and all that. And uh, Gran Turismo 7 looks good. If you're a racing fan, you're probably already sold on it. If you're not a racing fan, you're probably not that excited for it because we know what it's going to be. It's going to be a really nice looking Gran Turismo. The question is, is it going to be 4K60? Is it going to be 1440p 120? 
those are questions left unsaid. I can't see it being 4K 120 in any means, but if they give you a mode where it's 1440p at 120, that'd be awesome. But then they showed the game I was most excited for. They showed Xomniac's next game. I didn't know what it was. I kind of thought it might have been the next Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2. It goes into a bar. It shows a little scene in the bar. Buddy having a drink. And then the... The fangs come out and the Somniacs making a Wolverine game. And now I am super excited for that. I couldn't wait. I was waiting for a Somniac to make another Marvel game. Because I think a Somniac will kill the Marvel games. And uh, I'm really excited for that. I think I think every Marvel game should be made by a Somniac. I know people don't want that because it would be PlayStation exclusive. But in my opinion, Insomniac makes hands down the best superhero games they just do. There's nobody that makes better superhero games. Like you look at Marvel's Galaxy of the Guardians and you compare that to Spider-Man, they're not even in the same league. Imagine if Somniac made Guardians of the Galaxy. It'd be amazing. So I can't wait to see what they do with Wolverine. And Wolverine is one of my favorite characters. So to see what they do with the X-Men and maybe even if it does really good make a new x-men game a new wolverine game of bringing more of the x-men characters that'd be awesome and then they announced spider-man 2 and spider-man 2 looks insane and it was not really a gameplay trailer it was more of a, like an actual trailer but they did show gameplay in it saw me x games look amazing so i i think their gameplay will look amazing it probably looked just as good as the trailer and then they ended it with Miles Morales and Spider-Man looking down the street in the dark and Venom comes out. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I love Venom. I can't wait to play this game. It's not coming out till 2023, but it's going to be a long wait. But when it finally comes out, it's going to be amazing. And then God of War ran to rock. They didn't give us a release date, which I was disappointed for, but they showed some gameplay and the gameplay looks awesome. It didn't blow us away it's not a huge upgrade from God of War on the PS4 Pro but God of War PS4 Pro looked amazing and uh, I when you play God of War on PS4 Pro and then watch a the trailer for it it looks way better the, the gameplay than what the trailers give it credit for so I imagine the PS5 version when you actually sit down and play it, it's gonna look phenomenal it's probably going to be 4K 60, but we'll have to wait and see. But I can't wait to play God of War. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's top five for sure, top two or three. Uh, God of War, Breath of the Wild were like my, my favorite games in the last 15 years for sure. And uh, I can't wait to play Ragnarok. So my thoughts of the PlayStation Showcase, I thought it was pretty good. They showed what all the PlayStation Studios are doing. I kind of thought that when they first showed Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, I kind of thought that was going to be made by a PlayStation Studio, and I was like going crazy for that, but it's not. It's just a PlayStation exclusive, probably for a year, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. They showed what all their studios are doing and what they're working on. They didn't show Naughty Dog. And they didn't show if they're making another Uncharted, which they, of course, they probably are. They're getting they're putting this game out to get us hyped up for the new Uncharted game. It's probably coming out three, four years from now. Their lineup that they have coming out between this year and next year and uh, 2023 looks phenomenal. Like they put, they uh, showed you why you need to get a PS5. I mean, come Christmas time. Right till 2023, they're going to be knocking out phenomenal AAA games the whole time. You're getting God of War. You, they didn't put the release date on God of War, but I imagine you're going to get God of War next holiday. You're going to get, at the first of the year, you're getting Horizon Zero Dawn. You're getting Gran Turismo all in one year. All these other games. And then 2023, we know about Spider-Man and... They're going to announce more games between now and then for sure. So I think Sony knocked it out of the park. I can't wait to try these new games. So let me know what you guys thought of it. Any of these games that you're excited for. 
and uh, leave them in the comments. I'd love to read your guys' comments. That'll be Switch Station 32. Back for another video. If you like, like it, leave a like and a subscribe. It really helps the channel grow.